everyone. Happy Friday. Hey, Friday. Dad. Welcome to our weekend vlog. As you guys can see, we are not home. We are back at Mima and Papa's. I would say for a swim weekend, but not really. I'll show you. Hold on. There you go. That's why we're here, because Mima and Papa's house is a little bit closer to where Mason will be playing this weekend. And then this tournament is one of those weird ones. We know where we're playing tomorrow. It's right up the street from here. And then on, depending on how we play on Saturday, depends on where we play Sunday. So Sunday we could be all the way in Scottsdale or all the way in Mesa. So to be determined on that. Um, but this house, even if we're at Scottsdale or if we're in Mesa, it's closer than where we live. So we decided to go ahead and come here for the weekend because once again, guys, it's supposed to be excessive heat. I think 112, 113 degrees this weekend. Ugh, so over summer. When's fall? When's fall weather coming? Hopefully soon for us. But um, we just pretty much unloaded everything. Mason is in the game room, you know, as usual, getting every, oh, he's already playing. What are you playing, Cod? Yeah. Yeah? We're about ready to leave for dinner, so when that game's done, okay, bud? Uh, but yeah, we're about ready to head out, um, grab something to eat. We'll probably be eating out a lot this weekend due to the baseball. If you guys play baseball, you understand crazy schedules. Um, but I just need a few things to get us through the weekend. So that's the plans. Off to dinner we go. Where are we at, Mason? I can't say it. You can't say it? Cucina Tagliani. He's learning Spanish, but maybe he needs to speak some Italian. It's Italian. Okay, Jack, where are we? Cucina Tagliani. It's one of our, we don't come here very often, but it's an awesome little Italian spot in the, uh, in the West Valley. Yes. If you're ever out this way. And so Mason just tried. Those with the bread and dipped it in and. We kind of destroyed it. Just like that, our salad's out. House Italian. The boys went with Caesar. Mm -hmm. Pasta is here. Oh my goodness. The boys are sharing this, by the way. What's Mason gonna eat? <laughs> That's a lot of food. Good morning. Happy Saturday. The alarm went off at 5.40 a.m. Just so you guys know what time we had to get up for this baseball tournament. Um, do you guys rather, would you guys rather play in the morning or play in the afternoon or play at night? I typically in Arizona would rather play either in the morning or at night because of the weather. Um, like I said, it's supposed to be like 113 today and it will only be a little over 100 degrees by the time we're done playing. But we're up, at least I'm up. Still need to get dressed. Jack is trying to wake up Mason right now. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I have breakfast sitting here. It's just gonna be a quick breakfast. Some stuff that we can just zap in the microwave and then head to the fields. Um, so I didn't tell you guys yesterday. Um, in Arizona, we have an executive order right now that they're limiting group gatherings to 50 or less. So because of that, um, I think Mason said on this team there's like, I can't remember, anywhere from 13 to 14 players coming, plus two coaches, plus two umpires, so it only leaves room for a few parents to go inside the facility. So what Jack and I are hoping, and a lot of the parents, um, because the last tournament it was the same way, but because Jack was a coach on that team that Mason was filling in for, and um, I was able to go in and watch Mason, get you guys clips. Not for sure how this tournament's gonna be as far as clips. But anyways, what we're going to do, and what a lot of parents did last time, is they just sat in the outfield and tried to social distance. Um, which kind of stinks, because if you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that, you're driving to a Circle K, a gas station. We'll see how that goes. But um, we'll try to get some clips from the, the outfield, the parking lot. Fingers crossed, we've never been to this field before. So we're gonna kind of scope it out and see what we can get for you guys um, and try to still stay our social distance from everybody. 
But for now, I need to drink some coffee and get this brain working because clearly I'm still sleeping. But um, it's a baseball weekend and I'm super thankful. Even with the executive order, I just have to say that my child can still play baseball right now. I know a lot of you can't play at all. So I know it sounds like I'm complaining. I just, it stinks that I can't watch Mason up close. And um, I just, I know that we have like four more years for sure of him hopefully anyways, of playing baseball. Um, so yeah, coronavirus just kind of needs to go away so we can get back to normal life. But it is what it is, like Mason likes to say. But we'll see, we'll see how today goes. Coffee is definitely helping. Another thing that we do, Mason always tries to lay out his clothes the night before so that he can sleep to the last second. And he's up. Straight to his clothes. Did you sleep good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ready for today? Mm -hmm. Good luck. Have fun. Do your best. He's putting on his new stand socks. Nice and fresh socks. <laughs> He's halfway asleep still. Mason's coming in to pitch. Get some clips from way out here. Yes. Strike. I think I heard a strike. Well. Good job, Mace. Do it again, bud. Foul ball. Foul ball. Got him. Ooh. Good ball. Finish. Foul ball. Nice, Mason. What? Battle back here. Locked him. There it is. Do it again, Mace. Do it again. Calm him down. What about me? Calm, calm Mr. and Mrs. Devo down too. Nice there we go. Did you hit him? I guess. Must have hit him. Ball. There we go. All right, we got out of that. Ball. 
One more mace, come on. That's trouble. Uh, home run. All right, regroup, bud. Do it again, Mace. Do it again. We got one more. One more. Oof. Strike out. Okay, it was. Yeah, it was a strike. So two down. Good job, Mace. Waiting in the car for them. Baseball is done for the day. Done for the day. I am so ready to jump in the pool. Um, apparently, this is a wood tournament also. Yes, wood which Mason tournament. doesn't own a wood bat anymore. Well, he does, but it's like a little kid wood bat. So I think we're thinking about running up to Dick's Sporting Stop. Goods to yeah. see what they have. Um, and he was supposed to pitch, and I think because of the heat, they, he warmed up a couple times. And then Three the pitcher, times. The pitcher he was going to go in for settled down and then they kept resting him. So they were kind of resting the next pitcher. And so basically he got to pitch today and he was due up and his, uh, it was at the end of the game, there was two outs and he was, he was on deck. And so he would have gotten his AB there, but it just didn't work out today. But like I said, with this heat, I think they were being smart and kind of resting pitchers, especially pitch good. Yeah, he did. All right. Uh, what do you have? Three strikeouts, three K's. Yeah. Um, a couple walks, uh, a few errors. But you know, it's part of the game. He pitched well though. And tomorrow's another day. Absolutely. Sitting in the heat. And now I think do we know where we're going? Do we have to go to Mesa tomorrow? No, I think we're going to Mesa. I think we're going to Mesa. We'll find out. And it's really crazy you guys if we win the game in we Mesa, have to go to the then we venue, have to drive to Scottsdale. We Pretty think. sure. We need to get all yeah. clarification. Um, obviously there's still games going too, so but yeah. <sighs> Oh, and I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Can we eat before we go to Dick's Sporting Goods? Absolutely. I'm so hungry. Yeah. I'm sure Mason's hungry too. He had um, I had a little, little bit bar of breakfast. And some jerky. And it was awesome jerky though. Really yeah. good jerky. Mason didn't have any jerky, so I know he's probably hungry. I didn't share. Right, I was going to say I think we're something. just rambling right now because I think we're just really The heat just got us beat. All right, we decided on McAllister's Deli. Something cold. Cold salads, cold sandwiches. That's what I wanted. But I don't know how a baked potato landed on my plate. That's okay. Yum. This is also amazing. Mason went with the Caesar salad again. Up the bat, guys. Decision needs to be made. Just down to these three pretty looking, nice looking bats. Yeah, still haven't made that same decision. I am still sweating. It is still so hot. Um, we are back at Meemaw and Papa's. <laughs> this kid already has the swim trunks on, but I'm pretty sure you guys want to know what bat this kid decided on. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show it off? Yeah. Wait, right. first? Yeah. With my goaded socks. I know. <laughs> he's borrowing Papa's socks. Um, he's got his baseball lifestyle 101 Do we swim trunks slides on. Because it's hot, and then he's got baseball socks. Yeah, I did not pack regular socks for him. Just baseball socks. Let's Ready? I'm ready. I went with the Marucci Andrew McCutcheon model. Nice. AM22. I act like I know. I know nothing. But uh, it's, to be fair, none of, we don't know anything about wood bats either. This yes. is our first yeah. time dabbling. We did a axe bat one time, and I just ordered that online because at the mm -hmm. time he was swinging his axe bat, so it was an easy decision. Right. But, um, yeah. So that's so, what he went with. You know, if they're about 150 to 200 swings, and if I had to guess, it's at least over 100 swings in dicks. Oh yeah. Which is fine. I told him, I said, swing until you feel comfortable. And so this is the bat. That's the one he chose. The bat grip. Which stink. totally stinks because we have a trillion of those things to plate create at home, but we didn't think that we'd be buying a bat today. So there's that, but. So links down below, you guys can get your very own, but we learned a lesson today. We're gonna put like the 0.5 millimeter and the regular kind in his bag. Both so in his he's bag. got 
something for the metals and then something for the woodies. So, right. lesson learned. I have him in my bag, but obviously when he's filling in with other teams, I'm not coaching, or when he's playing with other teams, I'm not coaching. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is also a 32 inch, by the way. 32 yeah. inch, yeah, let's see. Yeah. I guess I can get a close up of all that because everybody always wants to see. All right, everybody wants to see all of the stuff on the bat, so there you go. It's a 32 inch. Um, there's that. And if you want to know, there's that. But it's definitely fancy. I like, I like how it. all the wood bats have the little dogs too. Yeah. All right, let's get this. And like you said, that's the uh, the bat grip that he decided to go with. So we're gonna put that on now. Yep. Thank you, guys. You're welcome, Mason. Um, so I think he wants to go off and hit. So we'll put the tape on, and then he's gonna. In the pool. Sounds like a plan. All taped up. This one's kind of cool because I guess you can put your uh, jersey number. Yeah. Which so if somebody has the same same um, bat as you, then you know that's yours. So that's kind of nice. Usually the skin will tell the difference, but if somebody that, were having the same, same skin too, that's yeah. That's with the wood bat, but yeah. Same bat, same skin. Probably Maybe wouldn't happen that often. Bat, but wood bats, a lot of people have different different, different colors and stuff. Yeah. The metals are always like Demery or Louisville or Marucci, pretty much. True. The All right, let's go hit. I was wearing my swimsuit and I had a little visitor, but the boys saved him. And now we're gonna set him free. Just a little lizard, nothing too scary. There he is, you're free, buddy, go. Oh, he's like, I can't get out there, of here. Should I put him on the ground? There, pal. Oh, there you go. Whee! Oh, there he goes, okay, he go? he's long right gone. Oh, he's right here. Oh, he's right there. I'm trying to figure it out, I think he's just a baby. I think normally they get smarter as they get older and they bounce. You guys see him, he's in the shade, there he is. He's, He's good. cute. It's a fun swinging a wood bat. Yeah. All right. Well, the good news is you already have sunscreen on, so straight out to the pool. Nice. Better? What? Does that feel better? Yeah. Yeah. The best part is we can sit in the pool and watch the Phillies play. Can't stop. Can you see the game from over there, Mace? Yeah. Going back out to hit again. Yeah. All right, that's the plans. While the boys go hit, I think I'm gonna start on dinner. I have leftover pork and some tortillas, cheese, some beans. I'm gonna try to make dinner right now. Wish me luck. Since back in from hitting, how was it, bud? Good. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? Checking my candy in the lineup. And how are you doing? Pretty good. good right. day. Not, not bad of a day. Oh yeah, Harper got a home run. By the way, Phillies so did win. Phillies did win. Um, I'm playing Nathan right now. You're playing, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's see, the Suns were up. Uh, Flyers were up. Dimebacks play later tonight, so we'll see. So far, it's been a good day. Dinner is almost ready. Just kind of waiting for the cheese to melt. Then I'm gonna plop some pork on there. And then I got some beans. And for condiments, this is, it is what it is. We have what we have here. We have um, hot sauce or barbecue sauce. So whatever you'd like. Well, the boys wanted second. So I think I did okay on dinner tonight. Did mom do okay? Was it good? It was a random mixture, but it was actually fire. <laughs> All I right. That. I told you that it's either going to be disgusting or on fire. And I it thought was, it was pretty good. And it was fire? The only reason it's random because of the barbecue on the pork. But it was fire? Mm -hmm. Diamondbacks are winning. The Suns ended up winning. It's kind of a good day for Everybody. as long. Flyers punch one seed. I know. Oh, the Flyers. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. Um, as long as the Diamondbacks hold off, all three sports teams, Arizona teams, will win today. That's kind of uh, cool. Flyers. I mean, yeah, but the Flyers are definitely not in Arizona. Now I said the three Arizona teams. Yeah. But we also support the Philly teams. And then obviously the Cardinals are not. 
So Play. we've all showered, feeling a lot better. The boys are gonna finish off the night with some banana pudding. I have, don't worry about me guys. I have some dark chocolate that I'm gonna eat. Plus we grabbed all that stuff too, so I can, <laughs> plenty of dessert to eat. But ready to wake up again early tomorrow? Yes. Yep. So like we said earlier, we have to go to uh, Mesa. But that's gonna be it for tonight. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Sunday fun day. 5 a.m. This morning the alarm went off at 5 a.m. We have a longer drive. Like I said yesterday, we have to go to Mesa today. Um, so we have about a 45 minute drive to get to the fields. Thankfully we're at Mima and Papa's because if we were at our house, it would be over an hour drive. So saved a little bit, little bit of time, able to sleep in a little bit longer. But we gotta pack everything up, which I did last night. Put, started putting everything in bags. So we just gotta grab, fill up water jugs, and go. But like always, coffee first. Well, we made it out to Mesa. The boys are starting to warm up the bat. Cause we got here like 15 minutes early. So that was good. No traffic. Well, Jack, they let us in. Yes. We had to pay 10 bucks, but they let us in. They'll take our money. <laughs> I thought we'd be out there. That's where I vlogged earlier. But a good spot picked out. We did, but they let us in. And so now we're kind of far away. That's our team warming up right there. So I'm not for sure what kind of clips I can get. All right, looks like Mason's starting in left field today. Strike to two. Foul ball to the catcher. Home sweet home, you guys. That's a lie. I mean, we are home, that's not a lie. But we've been home for quite a while. Like you guys know, we had an early start to the morning. Um, and we didn't know, no matter what, if the boys would have won or lost that game, we were only playing one game today. So they did end up losing, but we had a full entire day of doing nothing. Um, Which included napping. Uh, Mason napped on the way home from Mesa. And Jack and I napped on the lovely couch. Uh, I think, what were we watching? Oh, we were watching the first game. The Phillies had a doubleheader, so it was the that first I, I literally took a nap in the morning time. Jack reminded me, because I think I fell asleep around like 11. Yeah. <laughs> and Jack's like, we took a nap in the morning. Who does that? But that's what happens when you wake up at like 5, 5.30. The last two days happens. Um, but yeah, we're home. Um, dinner tonight, I think. I have chicken, so I'm trying to ask the boys, do you want barbecue chicken? Or I can do chicken tenders in the air fryer? Yes. And then I have some carrots, I have some potatoes. I do need to go to the grocery store again. You guys sick of me here saying that? Like, I never have enough food in this house. We're not but, watching uh, the Sixers. We watch all of our teams lose all day. Yeah, but the Sixers are winning right now. Yeah, it's close though. Don't jinx it. Uh, hopefully they can pull out a win because it's been Dimebacks lost, um, Phillies lost both their games, doubleheader today. <sighs> Let's see, did the Coy the Coyotes didn't win, did they? Or they did won. they didn't play? They and, already won their series. Right, so they're waiting, and then and the, Flyers the are the one Suns seed. didn't play today, huh? The Flyers are the one seed. Oh, there you go. That's good. That's good. So they play the Canadians, I believe. 
Yeah, yeah, we're just, we've been having a lazy day on the couch because sometimes you just need to do that. And well, I think, been much vlogging. <laughs> yeah, not much <laughs> vlogging. But I think I'm gonna work on dinner because it is now six o'clock. Well, 5.46, so. Bedtime then, based off our nap schedule. Is it too early to go to bed? It's a question we ask every Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, the heat too and the sun. Yeah, it's. But kills also, you. we got up really early because we can drive across town and that always kicks your butt. Yeah. So. All right, well, let me get to this dinner. You guys, just like that, our weekend is coming to an end. Yeah. It's Sunday night, I'm back to school tomorrow, I'm back to work tomorrow. It's officially Mason's full, first full week of school because last week he didn't start till Tuesday, but he has school tomorrow on Monday, so he has five days next week. But you guys know the drill, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Thanks for watching. Comment something in the comment section. Subscribe, hit the like button. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you. See you next time.